The Hanson Taylor Ranch Uranium Project lies northwest of Canyon City, Colorado, in one of the state's five major uranium districts. Black Range Minerals controls 100% of the Hanson Taylor Ranch Project, which encompasses more than 13,500 acres. The project contains JORC code compliant indicated and inferred resources of more than 90 million pounds U308 at a very robust grade of 0.06%, making it one of the largest uranium projects within the USA. The Hansen deposit within the project has been selected for initial production as the more technically advanced of the deposits in terms of historical permitting and drilling. The Hansen deposit was initially evaluated by Cypress Mines Corporation in the late 1970s and early 1980s. After a full feasibility study, Cypress concluded that the project was economically viable. The project was never brought to production, however, due to the collapse of the uranium price. Black Range's work to date has confirmed the historical work completed by Cypress. Wherever practical, Black Range seeks to utilize mining technologies that are both environmentally sensitive and economically viable by identifying and evaluating new technologies and by embracing innovation in existing technologies. One such innovation is underground borehole mining with ablation, which allows cost-effective recovery of resources through selective targeting of mineralized zones with minimum environmental disturbance. In the underground borehole mining process, a conventional top-drive drill rig bores a hole to the mineralized zone. The material removed in order to reach the mineralized zone is called overburden. Once the mineralized zone is reached, the borehole is cased and the overburdened drill rig is exchanged for a specialized mining rig with customized equipment, including a fixed shrouded jet miner. The jet miner is lowered to the mineralized zone through the borehole and uses pressurized water and air supplied by surface pumps to excavate material from the mineralized zone in a 360 degree arc around the borehole. As the jet miner excavates the mineralized zone, an internal airline supplies airlift to push mineralized material slurry through the pipe to the surface. The system proposed for the Hansen project will have a slurry recovery rate of up to 50 metric tons per hour. The mineralized slurry is directed to the ablation unit where two opposing injection nozzles direct the slurry stream to create a high energy impact zone. This high energy impact separates the mineralized patina or coating of uranium from the underlying sand grain. The uranium bearing particles are found in the fine fractions separated during the screening process. As tested on material from Hansen, ablation separates the barren sand material, which is approximately 90% of the total volume, from mineralized material prior to milling. This greatly reduces the total operating costs to process mineralized material. The remaining 10% is an ablated concentrate, which can be transported to one of several available off-site milling facilities. Once a borehole has been completely mined, the remaining cavity will be filled with specialized cement slurry. The borehole is backfilled and the top of the casing is plugged with betonite and cement before final completion with a soil cap. The precision of underground borehole mining gives Black Range the ability to target individual resource deposits several hundred feet underground with relatively minimal environmental disturbance. To mine the same ore body using conventional open pit methods, significant amounts of overburden would need to be removed in order to expose the resource. This would result in higher environmental impact and reclamation for both the mining and overburden storage areas. The mobility of drill rigs allows Black Range greater flexibility in targeting resource bodies based on grade, thereby increasing the cost-effectiveness of the project.
This same precision also gives the Black Range an effective means to mine deposits which may otherwise have limited access, either due to geographic isolation or resource depth. 